Everyone here is a lobbyist. Um, it's a very strange part of the country. You know what I mean? It's just, uh, it's, it's, it's like, it's like LA where like nobody's from here, I feel, you know? And it's everybody like, uh, it's just a lot of people, young people walking around with their shirts tucked into their pants. (laughs) And it has been my experience throughout my adult life, post grunge, once grunge happened, anybody who tucks their shirt in and is young is up to no good. Unless they're going to church, a wedding, or a funeral. Somebody shows up, and they got their shirt tucked into their, and they're wearing like, you can't tell if they're slacks. You don't really know what the proper term is to just, to uh, the category of their pants. If you're not sure what those are, yeah, those people, you, that's the person that's going to rat you out. You know? That's all I see when I come out. I just see a bunch of rats like, just, I don't know. I mean, maybe I should lighten up, right? I can't lighten up. I'd have no podcast. I got to take everything seriously. Like, I uh, went out after I landed here. Um, went to go get something to eat. Uh, you know, took a walk. Hey, take a fucking walk. Just go get yourself something to eat. Take a fucking walk, huh? So I took a walk. Went down, I got some to eat. I have never seen so many young people with their fucking goddamn button-down shirts tucked into their pants. It was like unsettling. I was actually going to ask the question, is weed legal out here? I know, I know it isn't. I know it isn't. Is being up after 9 o'clock legal? Um, only if you're going to Epstein Island. <laughs> Maybe that's how you end up, you know, at one of those fucking orgies where you're just banging something. You don't even know what sex it is. It's wearing like a fucking donkey head, right? You don't even know what you're doing there. You're sort of in your body, but not in your body. Like, I think all of those years of tucking your shirt into your fucking pants, at some point, you got to have your, you got to have your, your, your Woodstock, right? Like liberals, like fucking outside, in like the grass and the mud, you know, like music festivals. Let's be honest. Incredible lineups of bands, okay, in remote areas, performing to a bunch of sunstroke, drugged up fucking animals. You know, you know that if it's too loud, it's too old, man. I can tell you this. If it's not in a venue, I'm not fucking going. I'm not going to be out in the elements, you know, watching people walking around and trying to figure out if somebody's on Molly or if, they're, if they have scurvy. It's just, I'm not doing that shit, all right? And I stand, I've stood by that. I mean, I'll, I'll go to like a, uh, an amphitheater. You know what I mean? I love the amphitheater vibe, the haves and the have-nots, you know? The chairs versus the people they have out in the yard like fucking rescue dogs. Or, or dogs that will eventually be rescue dogs, you know? I think if you go to an amphitheater, you know, and you get lawn seats, they should actually tie you to something. Like a, like a fucking livestock. <laughs> <laughs> when it gets hot, they should just spray you with the fucking fire hose, you know? I think that's the way it's going to be in the future. Like, I don't think that people, like... Like, that's a big thing in the corporate world is creating, like, these different levels. It's like the money caste system. It's like India, but with, like, just money. You know, they have it on airplanes. You know, airplanes is, like, the king of it. I mean, they, they just cannot be enough special groups. And then they just keep, bur- like, breaking into other subsets of special groups. And it just keeps pushing everybody back and back and back and like, oh my God, it's like a rocket going up into outer space and you think you're in the fucking capsule with the guy driving it and all of a sudden you realize your part broke off and you're falling back down to earth. Like, but I thought I was special, right? They always have to have, you know, you go to hotels, there's always that little extra, 
Yet you go up, there's a little fucking hit. And if you do this and you get these points, eh, eh, you know, you spend this amount of money, then you get a little fucking dingy. All of that bullshit. I don't even know where I'm going with this. What the fuck am I talking about? Oh, yeah. And then you go to these, these fucking music festivals and they got the same thing, right? Like, you got the people, like, say that, that Woodstock 99 thing. You know there was some sort of VIP section where they weren't fucking swimming in mud in their own shit, getting trench mouth and all of that shit like those trench mouth. Can you believe that? Ugh. You don't even want to look that up. Um, but like, you fucking, I don't know. Like, I know people like my age that go out to like Coachella, Right? And they like fly out there and then they land and then they're in some air conditioned tent as they're watching all these young people like dropping like flies. I don't even know if this shit happens. I just what I assume happens. And you're just sitting up there <laughs> looking down at them in this sort of, um, I don't know what it is, this illusion of safety. Like at any point, if any, all the kids down on the ground decide they've had enough of you in your VIP little air-conditioned tent, they're taking that shit over. It's going to be like one of those fucking video games all the kids play, you know, where you build your own city, and then all of a sudden other cities attack you, whatever the, whatever, whatever the hell that is. 